Hello everyone, welcoming you to Shore of Source classes. And today we are looking at the University of Hyderabad M Economics 2021 paper. And we are now trying to work out question number 77. So suppose the demand functions for goods 1, 2 and 3 have the following functional forms where Q denotes the quantity demanded, P denotes the price and H denotes the income. So we have three equations. We'll explore them shortly. So the question is based on these demand functions, which of the following are known to be normal goods? Now, if you remember, what is the basic idea that we try to look at when we talk of normal goods? It is if your income rises, then your demand should rise. And if your price rises, then your demand should fall own price, not the other price. So if you look at this, if you uh, evaluate number three, this doesn't fall because the coefficient of income is negative. That means if income rises, demand for Q will fall. So definitely this is not a normal good. So three is out. Now coming to number one. Check over here that the coefficient of P1 is negative. That means if P1 increases, Q1 will fall. So that is correct. And the coefficient of H is positive. So if H increases, Q1 increases. That means this is normal good. So, so this is normal. Coming to number 2. The coefficient of P2 is negative and the coefficient of H is positive. Then again, this is normal good. So the option is 2 and 3 are normal, which is your option number D over here. That is your answer to this question. So now moving on to question number 82 of the University of Hyderabad paper, which says that if the utility function is square root over x square plus y square for x and y greater than 0, then the indifference curves are convex, concave, quasi-concave, not enough information. Now you know that any monotonic transformation of the utility function leaves the ordering unchanged. So we can easily take a monotonic transformation, something like a square over here. So that is x square plus y square. Right, and this is basically the indifference curves are concave in nature. So this is a straightforward question. You can work it out. You can ch check this out. Basically, what I mean by concave is your uh, obviously, like if I denote it by let's say some v this u square, then if you calculate dy by dx that will be negative and the second derivative d2y by dx2 will also be negative you can check this out it's a very simple calculation so i'm not just showing you the option is option number b it can be straightforward marked without much of calculation even in the exam now coming to question number 98 of the paper a rise in the price level causes the demand of money to dash and the interest rate to dash, everything else held constant. Now, if you just uh, look at the very simple graph of money demand and money supply that we usually have. Mm, sorry, I have to just redraw it once. Yeah. So over here we have the interest rate and over here we have the money demanded and supplied. So the demand for money is inversely related to the interest rate. So this is your L function, demand for money. And money supply, I can take it to be a constant only. It's an autonomous uh, component. So this is your money supply, real money balances, M by P. So if P increases, M by P falls, correct? So what will happen? This curve will shift to the left. Right? So what is happening? Earlier the interest rate was let's say R1, now it has increased to R2, whereas the equilibrium money supplied and demanded has fallen. So the demand for uh, uh, 
so the demand for money will fall and the interest rate will rise so the decrease followed by an increase so that is your option number b over here and that's your answer to question number 98 thank you